You know, on this day, we see Jesus riding on a donkey with a colt, with a baby donkey, right? <laughs> and riding into the city and the people, it's a prophetic uh, manifestation and they're grabbing palm leaves and they're waving them and they're throwing their, their garments and their, those leaves on the ground to make a beautiful path that is for royalty to ride on. Not to ride in the dirt, but ride on palm leaves. And they're shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Wonderful. And so he comes into the city as a king, as a redeemer. But what I want us to focus on right now is that he came as your and my remedy. Oh, that's great. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. He didn't just come because he's like, hey, you know, God has a son and I want everyone to know it. No, he came as a remedy. He came as your remedy. And, and him was given a name by God the Father uh, that had all authority and all power in heaven and on earth. And that at his name, Jesus Christ, every knee should bow. Yes. And every tongue should confess that he is Lord. That's awesome. And so here they say children were shouting it, the elderly were shouting it, people were shouting it. Uh, and here he comes fully welcomed. And of course we know on Thursday he's going to be betrayed, <laughs> right? First he's welcomed, he's betrayed, but it was all part of the plan. On Friday this week, this part of this holy week, uh, we celebrate well, or, or remember... It's a celebration for us after the fact, yeah. right? When you know the benefits of something, it's a celebration after the fact. But on Friday, we remember that he was crucified. And not because he was a criminal, but because we were criminals. The mm -hmm. world were criminals. Uh, we had fallen in sin. We were born in sin. We were separated uh, from God because he's holy and he does not dwell with sin. And God wanted us to be close. So it's Jesus so dies as a remedy, as a penalty, as a punishment to pay for all that sin Excellent. of all mankind. Excellent. Your sin, my sin, past sin, present, future sin, anyone born into sin in the future, the remedy has come. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. In the highest, that's wonderful. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And can you imagine in the, in the realm of the unseen, there's angels flying around, there's processions happening, heaven and earth, Everyone is celebrating because the remedy has just walked into the earth. The earth full of sickness, disease, death, uh, uh, wars, uh, all sorts of things. And now we are not like before he came, but we are now the recipients of a remedy. It's so amazing because so we have to know that we are not the same as before Jesus came. We now have someone who has come to deliver us from all evil, from all destruction, from all separation from God's goodness. That's really good. Separation from his love. And the Bible describes it, and, and many of us have been studying Psalm 91 during this time. You know, when there's a plague in the earth, people go to the remedy scriptures. And one of those remedy scriptures that describes what Jesus actually did is in Isaiah 53. And and if, if there's any passage that you're going to memorize, memorize Isaiah 53. But in verse 4, it says, Surely he has borne our griefs. And I'm going to read from the Amplified Bible because, you know, when we read Hebrew, there, there's a beautiful description in Hebrew that doesn't always translate directly in English without describing the words. And so there's a, a lot of applications in Hebrew words because it's such a weighty language it's yeah. god's original language and so surely he has borne our griefs which means sicknesses weaknesses and distresses maybe you're in distress maybe you're even sick maybe you're in quarantine right now but jesus bore those yeah, so in his body he is the remedy for it the whole world is waiting for a remedy but, but we already is. have a remedy yeah. wow um, and he carried our sorrows and pains of punishment. Yet we ignorantly considered him stricken, smitten, and afflicted by God as with leprosy. But he was wounded for our transgressions. It wasn't just that God just wanted to punish his son. No. It was that he needed to be punished for our sake, for our transgressions. He was bruised. 
uh, for our guilt and iniquities. It, uh, you can say, you know, I know that Jesus is, has a remedy and he wants to heal people, but I did stuff. Well, that he's a remedy for that. First and foremost, he's a remedy for our sin, for our guilt, for our iniquities. You know, I studied the word iniquities. That means even the desire to want to sin. Wow. He died for that. He didn't only die for the action of it, but even the motivation of it, the heart of it, behind it. That's really good. He was bruised for our guilt and iniquities, and the chastisement needed to obtain peace and well-being for us was upon him, Jesus Christ. And with the stripes that wounded him, he was beaten with 39 lashes that had pieces of metal, glass, stone at the end of these strings. Wow. And every time they beat him with it, flesh was ripped off of his Very back, intense. off of his body. If you ever uh, want to know what it was kind of like, watch The Passion of the Christ by M Mel Gibson and you get a little picture of what was really happening. And so he studied all of that before he made that movie. Intense. But by those stripes, by that remedy, we are healed and made whole. You know, it's so powerful because here's the one who's been given all power and all authorities. We read in Colossians uh, 1 verse 13. But, but here he comes as a remedy for our sicknesses and our diseases. And we are healed we're and healed. made whole. Now, how can you say we are healed and made whole if we're struggling with something right now? Well, this is where faith comes in. That's it. You know, faith is not a hope in the future. That's hope. Hope is something that puts it off. But faith that, wow, Jesus, you did that for me. You actually took that punishment for me. All of that happened to you for me. It actually, faith causes you to embrace a new identity. Oh, you know, you share, yeah. you share that when, you know, somebody may have uh, received an inheritance and if they don't know it, even though they are millionaires or billionaires, in actuality, they're still living like a poor person, right? A, pa a pauper under a bridge or whatever. But that doesn't discount the truth of the fact that they are actually a millionaire or billionaire because of the inheritance. Now, Jesus died and gave us an inheritance. And part of that is that we are the healed ones. Yeah. And faith connects with our identity. Faith doesn't say, well, in the future, I believe, or if God really wants to, then he may. It's too late to ask those questions because it's already happened. Now, faith gives us a revelation of what has already happened. The Bible calls it a mirror. The Bible is a mirror. You actually see who you really are. We are the healed. That's and when, when our faith connects with that, Wait, I was already healed and made whole? That means these symptoms are illegal in my body. Jesus already healed me. He legally, in heaven's legal system, has paid for every price for me to have this new identity. Now, our faith says, if it says it in the Bible, then I believe it's so, it and is. it is it for me. And then you receive it by faith by saying, this is me, this is for me. I changed my mind about who I am. I am now no longer the sick needing to get healed, but I'm actually the healed of the Lord. Faith always changes our identity. Faith always grasps for the victory that already belongs to us by inheritance. So I want to bless you with that. I want to pronounce together with Pastor Tracy, we pronounce you healthy Blessed and, and healthy. whole yes. and forgiven and saved. If you believe so this, receive it receive your new identity not only as a child of god but as the healed and redeemed child of god that's outstanding. by the stripes of jesus you were made whole isn't that fun and the simple act of receiving it yes changing just, just your receive mind it. just change your mind about it and that's how you receive you take it in yes take your identity that's it, excellent everything is different now I isn't it. it i love it